looking for him. Can't you tell me? Routine investigation, miss. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know where Charlie is. Why can't you tell me why you want him? We want him. Well, why? Can't you give me a reason? This is one of the reasons, Laura. Would you look at this picture? Charlie took this? That's his business. That's the way his police record reads. I can't believe it. He was nice. Didn't seem that kind. Now, that's one reason we want Hopkins. There's lots of others. You willing to help us now? He said they'd be beautiful. Glamorous. They're not. You know where he stays now? No, I'll find out, though. How do you mean? I got a date with him. Supposed to meet him out on Wilshire. Wilshire and Liberia. When's that? Eight o'clock tomorrow night. Frank and I went across the street to the district attorney's office and presented our case. A warrant was issued on Charles Hopkins for 702 WIC, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. At 7.45 that night, Frank and I staked out on a cocktail lounge near the intersection of Wilshire and La Brea, the place where the suspect had told Laura Osborne to meet him. 8.15, 8.30. Joe, hmm? just out the corner heading this way. Yeah, it could be him. Yeah, dark glasses. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Just a minute, fella. How's that? Police officer. Is your name Hopkins? No, that's not my name. Can we see your identification, please? Sure, I have my identification. Why? Can we see it, please? What do you want? Your identification. What for? I haven't done anything. All right, mister. We'll talk about it downtown. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want any trouble. I'll show you. There. See? My driver's license. Take it out of your wallet, will you, please? Certainly. Charles Hopkins. That's an old address, isn't it? Yeah. I've had time to change it. Just got back in town. What's the matter, anyway? Where are you staying, Hopkins? No place. I just got back in town. I told you that. Not staying any place. No connections at all. Where's your car? Don't have one. Haven't had one for a year. Sold it. Say, would you mind filling me in? What do you want with me, anyway? All right, Hopkins. Let's go over here out of the way for a minute. Okay. Just want to know what's going on, that's all. Like, see what you got in your pockets. Take everything out. What is it? Your shakedown? Let me start with your wallet. All right. Put down the seat. There, okay. Now your pockets. There, okay. You don't have a car, is that right, Hopkins? No, of course not. I told you that. Then what are you doing with this parking ticket? Eight fifty-five p.m. Frank and I finally located Hopkins' car in a parking lot two blocks away from the point where we apprehended him. In the glove compartment of the car, besides a half a dozen photographs and small books, we found a key with a metal disc attached. Stamped on the disc were the words "West Side Studios, Number Twenty Three." Hopkins refused to identify it. He refused to admit a thing. He was booked into the county jail on the contributing warrant. The next afternoon at 5.30 p.m., we drove out to the old West Side Studios just off Jefferson Boulevard. On the way, we tried to again question the suspect, but we got nowhere. One look at the old West Side Studios, and you knew right away it had seen better days. The place had been fairly prominent back in the early days of silent pictures, but all that was left now was three square miles of broken down scenery. The faded sign over the main gate read West Side Studios, founded 1920, admission by pass only. Hopkins unlocked the gate and we drove onto the lot. The place was deserted. The sun had almost gone down. It was a cold wind from the north. Hopkins directed us to pull up and park. We can go on foot from here. Come on, this way. You run an office here? Is that it, Hopkins? No, sir, I do not. I live here. 
You in some kind of movie work? Have been for 30 years, more than 30 years. That's so? You an actor? Hopkins. Haven't you ever heard the name? I'm a producer. Oh, I see. Why don't you tell us that to start with? Oh, I don't know. Different reasons. I didn't want to throw my weight around. I have a lot of connections in Hollywood, you know. That's so. In the trade, 30 years. I was one of the first. You can make a lot of friends in 30 years. How about the books and pictures we found in your car? How do you explain it? Come on over here. I'll show you boys something you never saw in your life before. show you this, I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, what's that? This studio will be back on its feet in a year. I'll bet a thousand dollars on it. This whole block here, sound stages. I got plans for them in my desk. That's so. You have an interest in this lot, do you? Not exactly. Not right now, anyway. I did have an interest, though. I will again. I was one of the original owners, you know. Is that right? Me and five other men. We were the top people in Hollywood when we opened West Side. I was a young fellow at the time. We made pictures, mister. Great pictures. Not like today. It's changed. It's all gone now. What have you been doing lately, Hopkins? I mean, what do you do for a living? Different things. I have a few investments, private income. I made money with West Side. That's when the town was really turning out pictures. I made big money. What are you doing today? I told you. Different things. Crows. We have a lot of them out here. They like to nest in those eucalyptus trees over there. Nice sound, isn't it? Well, look, we still haven't got an explanation. How about the books and pictures that we found in your car? Oh, that? Hm. Nothing to explain, is there? Just a few gimmicks I picked up. You know a boy by the name of Steve Banner? Banner? No, I don't think so. Why? How about Bud Spencer? You know him? No, I knew a George Spencer once. Actor. Now, that was back in the old days, though. So. How about Laura Osborne, Dorothy Ryan? Do you know them? No, it's pretty hard to say, you know, Sergeant. Over the years, in this business especially, you meet an awful lot of people. Yeah, well, these are fairly recent. You ought to remember them. They're just kids, 17-year-olds. No, I'm afraid I can't recall the names. You know, we might go into television here. I don't know. Television films? The trouble is, they make them too fast. Trade's not like it used to be. Quality, that's what we went after. It's all gone now. It's all gone. West Side will do it again, though. You can bet on that. We're coming back. How about leveling, Hopkins? You know why we picked you up. You know why we're out here. That's just it. I don't know. This way. How about it, officer? You remember this one? Don't believe I do. Well, no offense. You were in knee pants when I shot my westerns here. Great stories. One of them was the greatest of all. Is that right? Greatest of them all. Thunder on the trail. That's what we called it. We shot the big scene for it right on this street. That was almost 30 years ago. <laughs> Doesn't seem that long. Just like yesterday. Yeah. Conway Blackburn was my director for that one. Big Clyde Harrison was the star. Always called him Big Clyde. Didn't look too strong, but he had arms like steel. You know, that man can lift an engine right out of an automobile with his two hands. Powerful. That's so. And how he could handle a horse. Ride like the wind, old Clyde. Never looked better in his life than he did that day. I was there.